Hi, I'm Kevin Stenzel, owner of Artistic Creations in South Boyd, Illinois. Today we're going to show you how we paint one of our award-winning replicas. The fish we have chosen is one of my personal favorites. It's a smallmouth bass. This is a fish that's probably about five and a half pounds. It's going to make a beautiful mount when we're done with it. The first step is an antiquing process where we spray the whole fish a charcoal color. Okay, the next step is going over the entire fish with steel wool. This brings out all the scale detail and the fin rays. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to start applying our base coat colors. We're going to come in with a little more charcoal on the back. Then we're going to come in with an off-white and do the belly to give some nice even skin tones. Then we're going to come in with some pearls. We're going to put a gold pearl along the back and a silver pearl along the belly. Okay. okay, and that's pretty much it for the base coats. You can see it's a nice even transition, darker on the back, lighter on the belly. And again, these are just base coats. Most of the paints we apply from this point on are transparent. We put them on in layers which gives the paint job some real depth and really makes your fish look real. That's what we're trying to accomplish. The first color is a golden yellow. So we're all done with our yellow. Now I'm going to come in with a little gold and put it just along the back. Now it's time to work on our detail. I've switched to my detail airbrush and we're going to start by doing the vertical bars. We're going to put them on very lightly at first and come back later and fill in the individual scales. detail is painted in. It's starting to look somewhat like the smallmouth bass we want it to. Uh, one more color I'm going to add now is sienna and I put that on the base of the fins a little bit in the fleshy areas of the mouth and the teeth anywhere your reference photo shows it should be. last thing I always do on the smallmouth is put a little white identifying mark they all seem to have on the gill cover. The last thing I like to do then is a little scale tipping um, with some metallic powders. To do that I put on my OptiVisor so I can see what I'm doing because this is close-up work and I apply a little metallic powder to each scale on the top half of the fish and when it's done this really looks nice. One other thing I noticed on this particular fish was some blue markings in the cheek area. So I'm going to do that with a blue metallic powder.
The last step then is simply applying the gloss. I'm using a two-part automotive gloss.